Midday Prayer for February 18th, 2021. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Your word is a lantern to my feet, and a light upon my path. I have, I have sworn and, and am steadfastly purposed to keep your righteous judgments. I am troubled above measure. Remi revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Let the free will offerings of my mouth please you, O Lord, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The ungodly have laid a snare for me, yet I have not strayed from your commandments. Your testimonies have I claimed as my heritage forever. And why? They are the very joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes always, even unto the end. I lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who keeps you will not sleep. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself is your keeper. The Lord is your defense upon your right hand. So that the sun shall not burn you by day, neither the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. Indeed, it is he who shall keep your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. If the Lord himself had not been on our side, now may Israel say, if the Lord himself had not been on our side when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us up alive when they were so wrathfully displeased with us? Then the waters would have drowned us and the torrent gone over us. Then the raging waters would have gone clean over us. But praise be the Lord, who has not given us over to be prey for their teeth. He has escaped. We have escaped like a bird out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken, and we have been delivered. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. When the Lord overturned the captivity of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. Indeed, the Lord has done great things for us already, whereof we rejoice. Overturn our captivity, O Lord, as when streams refresh the deserts of the south. Those who sow in tears shall reap with songs of joy. He who goes on his way weeping and bears good seed shall doubtless come again with joy and bring his sheaves with him. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from John, chapter 12, verses 31 through 32. Jesus said, Now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be on my mouth. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Blessed Savior, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms. Grant that all the peoples of the earth may look to you and be saved. For your tender mercy's sake. Amen. Father of all mercies, you revealed your boundless compassion to your apostle St. Peter in a threefold vision. Forgive our unbelief, we pray, and so strengthen our hearts and enkindle our zeal, that we may fervently desire the salvation of all people, 
and diligently labor in the extension of your kingdom. Through him who gave himself for the life of the world, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.